she's starting to form a strong hatred towards found footage films. You just, you can't see a bloody thing. What's the point? It's just too much shaking going on. And just, ah, it gives me a headache. The novelty's really worn off now. Can we stop? You're making me do whiny voice. It's just a technique that I'm sick of seeing and I just think it's an incredibly lazy way to make a film, especially a horror movie. So a group of people head down into the Paris catacombs to find history with their head cameras and their cameraman. <laughs> Who has to be the worst cameraman in just documentary business history? <sighs> I can't even form proper sentences. I'm just that annoyed at found footage films now. Like, you'd think this person would have a bit more professionalism and experience to avoid the whole shaky camera! <laughs> You're making a documentary! Hold that camera on your shoulder! So what was pretty cool about this film is they actually got permission to go down into the Paris catacombs and film there. So it's not a set. What you see is the real deal. That, that's to me is pretty like impressive, you know, like I love stuff like that. I mean, the, the one that's number one is always Danny Boyle getting permission to just shut off half of London for 28 days later. I think it's really great when a film can just touch on the real deal. So the idea of being stuck in the catacombs is just pretty fascinating and incredibly terrifying, especially for me as I suffer from minor claustrophobia. So I thought, yeah, no, this film gets stuck in. I'm terrified as it is at the thought of that. So this could be a really good horror movie. Yes, I understand it's a feature film. It's not a documentary, but you'd still think we'd get to see some really incredible sights and the film would just form such an intense atmosphere, you know, with this actual real set. But I guess we will never see those or feel that kind of atmosphere because of the shaky camera! Due to the camera waving its eye all over the place, I felt like I didn't even see anything. I, it, that wasn't even a film. You can't say that. <laughs> you know, I was more terrified taking the London Bridge tomb experience than I was watching this film. It's what would happen if you asked a group of students to make Tomb Raider and Indiana Jones into a mashup horror movie. Now, I was actually impressed with the actors as they tackle the baffling script, <laughs> even though they were rather stereotypical characters, they gave you a small, small reason to keep watching. I was especially amused at Perdita Weeks cast in the main female role. Being of a similar age, I remember her as a child from Catherine Cookson's The Rag Nymph, so it was kind of amusing and almost I was kind of proud that she was in this feature film so I was you know I was sucked into her because back then she did have something charming about her and she still has that attached to her and you can see that in this film it was a rubbish film but she kept me watching what seems like a rather promising film as they enter the catacombs quickly turns into your run-of-the-mill silly cliche horror movie taking an idea building on it and then completely ruining it with the extreme. Sometimes, especially when trapped in a confined space, less is more. I was so compelled for all the wrong reasons. I continued to watch this film just to see if it would get any more ridiculous. 